So this is this is um, the physical body here, and this is Steiner's representation of the etheric. Here's this astral body bringing in the movement, and here's the spirit which acts as this containing influence. And um, now I guess it's a, a a big experience in my life was because I made all the biodynamic preparations and the homeopathic remedies, it meant I could take them as remedies. Which, which um, now, one of the big points about the biodynamic preparations is Steiner indicates two of those work on the different energetic body interactions. Uh, Leafgood in 1951 indicate another two and out of that biodynamics decoded chart, um, I was able to say, well, if that's the case, then these two must work like that as well. So at that point, I was able to start using those preparations to directly influence the energetic bodies. Now, one of the experiences that was very, very valuable to me was that if I'm as I am now, and I've been like this for quite a long time, with little variations for illness or whatever, then when I'm talking about these energetic bodies, it's, it's sort of a, a bit intellectual. But if I take a remedy that is going to um, stimulate my astral body, say, let's smoke some marijuana, and that will stimulate our astral body, and from that we will get certain experiences. We'll be more sensitive, we might be more paranoid, so we will be experiencing our astral body more intensely. And we can then sort of go, well I'm feeling different. I used to feel like this and now I'm feeling like this. And then after three or four hours I come back here and I go, oh okay, radio. So that's the astral body. Now, now if my astral body is getting quite active and, and I'm feeling really scattered and I'm sort of running all over the place and I can't get focused and I'm sort of, you know, moving about and I take uh, something like phosphorus that will help to incarnate my spirit and then all of a sudden I'm sort of going, gee, I feel really centered, I feel really in control, I don't feel uh, out of control and all that sort of stuff and I'm getting my work done then I'm having an experience of the spirit. And then if that wears off in a few hours' time, and I start doing that again, I go, wow, okay, I got that experience. So by taking these remedies and moving our bodies around, we're actually learning what they are. We're having direct experience of what our bodies are. And so it's like a muscle. We start to work the muscle. So now I, I just watch my experience. You know, if I'm starting to get a bit jittery, then I've got to pull my spirit in a bit, or whatever. If I'm feeling a bit tired, I can boost up the etheric body a bit. And, and so I think this makes it real. These, these things are real to me. I'm not talking intellectual here, you know. And it's come from that. It's come from taking the remedy and experiencing. And, and so you, you can know what these things are. And I think we should all do that as biodynamic practitioners. You know, take some preps, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, they're, they're perfectly fine. I have taken them as preps too, you know, a bit of chamomile or a bit of whatever. I have done that, that's okay. But they're better homeopathic because they're easier. You know. So these are these pictures that Steiner gave, which are very, very interesting because he's talking about how these bodies are moving. And this is in this 1924, September 1924, and this is this pastoral medicine. And, and he talks, here is the spirit, it's just that little bit incarnated. And so this is, this is also an image of what happens when you drink alcohol. Because, because what happens with alcohol is that it pushes the physical and the spirit apart. Now the first thing that occurs when you do that is for a little while it lets the astral body out. And so the astral body's going, yahoo, I'm having fun, I'm feeling great, yippity do. But then the spirit goes that little bit further and it starts to lose contact with the physical body and you start to get all sort of disorientated and stumbling around, slurring, and, and, 
And of course, your memory goes because the spirit's not there, you're not there, so you're not memory, remembering what you're saying, and you just start repeating yourself. And then, of course, the last stage is when the etheric body is, and the astral body and the spirit has gone, and you fall over in a stupor. You're now unconscious. So this is a really good representation of what happens with alcohol. Now, while we're on the subject, I'd like to suggest that while you've got your spirit pushed out of your physical body, you are therefore leaving yourself open to some other spirit to come in and possess your body. Oh my God. Now, if you know anybody that has a sort of Betty moment, you know, they just personality yes. changes, that's possession. That is another spirit taking that person over. So, so anyway, this, this is a very, very good sort of image of looking at how this works. And as I say, it's for uh, the spiritual people, uh, uh, priests, as well as uh, doctors. So it's, it's